Hey everyone, I hope you all are doing good and having a wonderful day. In this video, we are going to learn about how we can create our own custom tool that can detect bro broken link hijacking type of vulnerabilities using Python. So without further ado, let's get started. But as always before going to this video, if you haven't checked out my previous video in which I've shown you some interesting way of how we can do some bunch of cool reconnaissance stuff, then go ahead and check it out. The link is given in the description as well as you can see it on the right side of the screen. And now let's get started. So now let us try to understand the algorithm on which our program is going to work, right? So first thing is that the user is going to enter a domain name in that particular program that we are going to create. After that, we will scan and crawl all the external links that are present on that particular application. Then we will test out each of the links and then we'll check whether there's a link which has a 404 status code or not. As we know that 404 stands for not found in the web application, right? Once we have identified a link that is returning 404, it means that the link is broken. Right. And now there's a possibility that we should be looking into that link because we may be able to take over that particular link. And if it is a link of a social media handle, like let's say Facebook or let's say uh, Twitter and all, right, then there's a huge chance that we will be able to take over that particular page, that particular link. Right. So I hope you have understood the algorithm behind this particular application. Now let us try to understand that how we can create this particular tool. So the first thing is that we're going to use a tool for crawling the links, which is known as photon. I have already created a video on it as I have, uh, as I have mentioned in the, uh, as I have mentioned before, right? So just go and check out that particular video and you will understand that how we can use photon to crawl the links, right? And Photon is quite an amazing tool. So I think you should always uh, use Photon when you are uh, when you're getting the links and you want to organize the data, right? Now, let's see that how we can create this tool. We are going to use one tool, which is known as Photon. And please, I must say again that if you don't know how to use Photon, then I request you all to check out the previous video of mine. The link is given in the description. And now let's get started. So let me just open my terminal right over here. And now let me just go to Photon. And this is a tool right over here, as you can see. And now we have this Photon.py. I already have configured all the things that are required to run uh, Photon. Let me just clear it out. And now let's try to see that how we can create the tool that can first crawl the links using Photon. So let me just create a file. Let's say broken.py, the tool name. And now let's try to import some important libraries. So the first library is requests. So this library used to send get or post request or any uh, communication that is going between a web application and a client. So to post request to the server, right? So we will be using this to check whether there's any link that is returning 404 or not, right? Then we want to use sub process. Why we are going to use sub process because we want our Python program to execute some system commands, right? So we're going to execute system commands using sub process. And now these are the only two libraries that are required. So now we are ready to create the tool. The first thing is let's try to create a function that is going to crawl the links from a parameter that is the domain name or a subdomain name, whatever it is. So for example, let's type, uh, let's say scan links right then we're gonna go with domain name and now we are going to call the sub process sub process dot call and then we're gonna go python 3 so this is the actual command that we execute when we want to uh, find the links using photon python 3 then we're gonna go photon dot photon.py and let's try to see how we can use photon so let's type python3 let me just go to photon and 3 photon.py and as you can see we have to specify the minus u for the url then we're gonna do a bunch of cool stuffs so minus u and here let's type http and here it will be the domain name over here name and then we're gonna go with uh, minus L for the level and we're going to set the level to three and let's do shell equals to true. 
right so this call method is going to call this particular command on the console right and the reason why we are using shell equals to true because we want this command to be executed on the particular terminal right we don't want this uh, command to be executed as a executable file right so if you uh, want to execute an executable file then you should be doing shell equals to false or leave it as it is but if you want to execute system commands then go for shell equals to true once you have this then it will create a folder of this particular domain name as you can see right over here i have this folder so i have or earlier i have scanned this php.wellmap.com and you see we have this uh, folder created right over here so let's go to testphp.wellmap.com and here you see we have this external.txt already generated right which means that we are looking for this external.txt file and this external.txt file is going to contain all the external links from this particular application now let's do this so once we have uh, the links crawled uh, let me just open or oh, sorry let me just import os as well so because we want some extra commands to be executed right i'll show you what why we're using os instead of a sub process so now we are going to type os.chtir because now once we have the scanning completed we want to go to this particular directory which has the domain name in it right so if i scan http testphp.wellnweb.com then the folder that is going to be created is known as testphp.wellnweb.com which is a domain name right so we're going to go with domain name then we're going to look for a file which is external.txt so i'm going to use try over here try with open uh, external dot text and the mode will be r that stands for read as data then links equals to data dot read dot split right and if there is any errors then we'll simply going to print that uh, let's say file not found for example and uh, after that once we have this function completed we're gonna return the links right and if we got the error then we're gonna return nothing and uh, yeah that's pretty much it and now once we have this our very first function has been completed which is used to scan the links right so you can just test it out so you can just type scan underscore links let's test for uh test php dot .com, right and let me just print it out so if everything's has uh running properly then we should be able to see all the external links let's save it let's try to run this then three broken dot py let's wait for a few seconds and over here you'll see that uh we have already scanned this particular file and we have all the external links right over here right you can see over here we have these many external links how it is an external link because the domain name is testphp.wellweb.com but we have found all the external links over here as you can see none of these domains are actually testphp.wellweb.com right let me just open the broken.py again so our very first step has been completed which is to scan the links now the last step is to check whether any link is returning 404 or not so let's say def create the function again and let's name the function broken and it's going to accept the links and then let me just change the parameter name so that it wouldn't get conflicted in the program so let's say a list and now for every url in the list we are going to send the get request right so we're going to send the get request which is request dot get url and let me just change the variable name to status code status underscore code and we're going to check the status code of it and for now let's print the status code now we are good to go let's try to run this particular function 
So we're gonna store the uh, value of this function in a variable, let's say a equals to scan links, and then we're gonna create another variable b equals to broken, and let's call a over here, right? Let me just save it. Let's try to run this again. Within three broken dot py, let's wait for a few seconds. And as you can see, it is getting scanned. And now, as you can see, we are successfully getting all the uh, status codes, right? Now, let me just clear it. And now, our last step is to check whether there is any status code that is 404, right? Let's test it out. So, we can do if status underscore code equals to 404, then we're going to print that the link is vulnerable otherwise we're gonna do nothing we're gonna just pass right and this is the actual code that we can use to find all the links that are broken you know let's save this let's try to run this and three broken dot py And as you can see, the scanning has been completed and the results are saved in this particular file, right? And now, let me just open broken.py again over here. And we didn't got anything. Why is that? Because there is no link uh, in that particular uh, domain that actually returned 404, right? That's why we got nothing interesting over here, right? And the last thing is that we are going to take the input from the user right let's see how we can do that so it's actually quite simple so instead of this test php.wellmap.com i can just type input and then enter a domain name and that's it and this is how we can create this particular tool right so congratulations you have created your very first tool that can detect broken links and now go ahead and test this particular tool on live applications. I hope that you've enjoyed it. If you have any doubts, if you have any issues, then feel free to let me know your doubts or issues in the comment section. Also, do join our Telegram channel if you want to stay updated with the latest trends and technologies going into cybersecurity. The link is right displaying over here and you can just click on the link also given in the description. So with that being said, keep learning and thanks for watching.